Jungsu is my son, right? His eyes were showing the pain inside him. You didn't able to look at him. Neither you answered his question. Why did you do that to me, Vyan? A tear escaped from your eyes, but you wiped it quickly. It was all in the past. There's nothing between us now. I don't want to know you. Please let's pretend like strangers because I already had enough pain. How can it all be in the past? How can you say that there's nothing between us when my son is right in front of me? And what if I say that he's not your son? Then why his name is Jungsu? Why you kept the name I wanted to give my son? It doesn't prove that he's your son. Really? Then prove that he's not my son. You were looking at him painfully. Why did you hide my son from me? Why? Why didn't you told me that you were pregnant? What would you do if I tell you, huh? How come you became like this, Vyan? You will never be like this. That's why I'm telling you to not try to come in my life again. I'm not that Vyan anymore. Just leave me. All this time, even for once, didn't you miss me? It made your heart ache with extreme pain. I know it was your dad. I know you were forced to break up with me because I know my Vyan. She can never value money over her love. Your cheeks were wet with tears. I'm not what you think. I hope you'd found someone who can stand with you in your worst. Yes, I've become who I am today because of that someone. And that someone is sitting in front of me. Did you marry? You knew that Jungkook loved you unconditionally and you can't live with him in this guilt of what you did to him. You want him to move on so you lie. Yes, and I'm happy with my life. Jungkook's heart broke into millions of pieces. He looked at you in disbelief. You looked away as you can't see him broke. Even after Jungsoo, didn't you even once try to wait for me? I did what I thought was right. You heard announcement about the next station. Jungsoo, wake up baby, we reached. You took out your luggage and picked up Jungsu. Then you looked at Jungkook who was still looking hard. I'm sorry for everything and thanks for loving me but I'm not someone who deserves your love. And you walked away. Grandma! He ran to her as she pulled him in her embrace and smiled brightly. My boy, how are you? Absolutely perfect. I missed you so much. Missed you too. You put your overcoat on the couch when your sister came and hugged you lovingly. How was the journey? You exhaled heavily. Please don't ask. It was hella tiring. Plus I was with my little devil so you can already guess. Jenny and your mom laughed. When is Jimin coming? Maybe day after tomorrow. He said he'll join us shortly. So you won't stay here long? It's hard to spare any time only. And Jimin can't handle everything alone. I mean he will. But you know I can't leave every work on him. Plus Jungsoo's school is going on as well. What a lucky guy. Vyan, why can't you ask him for marriage? You both are basically living together. And he even proposed you for marriage. Then what are you waiting for? You said well emo. Mommy is so stubborn. I don't know why she always ignored dada's proposal. You looked at Jenny. Unni, don't say such things in front of him. You know how mischievous he is. Even in this age he talk like grown up men. Kids these days are so advanced. They get to know so many things by their own. You're right mom. Just look at our Lily. She even have a boyfriend in play school. You laughed. He's not yet my boyfriend, mom. We're still giving time to our relationship. Your love don't know whether to be surprised or praise this generation who is another 
level advanced go and freshen up you both must be tired yes unni i just want to sleep you said yawning but i am going to play with lily you sighed and shook your head this kid come for steak shower let's go they really have amazing collection i wanted to come here from so long with you you smiled how's your life with sam she put the shirt down and sighed we are still trying can't believe it's almost 10 years since our marriage and we are still figuring out whether we are ready to spend our lives together Lily grew up a lot. I think you should figure it out as soon as possible because once she'll grow up, I don't want her to end up hating any of you. I shouldn't have listened to that. I've never had a moment of happiness in these 10 years. I'm happy that mom has decided to leave him. I hate him. He don't deserve to be loved anyways. She noticed the sadness on your face. She came and put her hand on your shoulder. I'm sorry that I didn't support you that day, but I'm happy that you made your own choice. Jungsoo exactly looks like him. I wish I could do anything for you. Don't say that. If it wasn't you and mom, I might got abortion. I never knew that that can be that cruel. I don't know if Jungkook would accept you and that's obvious cuz no one loves the one who hurts them but deep down my heart says that he knew everything maybe he still loves you but don't forget that you have a man who is in love with you he accepted Jungsoo and Jungsoo also like him he would be happy to have Jimin as his dad why don't you try No only I can't do that when I don't have those feelings for him. I don't want to give him false hope. I already ruined a person now I can't. You are wrong, Wayne. You saved him. I know that for him it was a heartbreak, but what you did was only to save him. Nothing can be more than your true love towards him, Wayne. I wish someone could understand. You wiped your tears and hung the shirt back in its place. Only I'll go and check that area. You walked away from there while Jenny let out a light breath. I know you still think about it. I hope you'll get someone's love so you can forget all the painful past. You wiped your tears and looked down. You didn't want it to show your sister how painful is it for you to live without Jungko. Every second you look at Jungso, he only reminds of you about Jungko. You started checking the clothes but was not really paying attention to what you are doing. Suddenly someone grabbed your elbow and pulled you inside the changing room. He pinned you to the wall and looked at you while your eyes widened. What are you doing here and what was that? You asked in a strict tone. I came here for shopping and I wanted to talk to you so I pulled you here. Do you think you can do whatever you want? Why is something wrong in this? Isn't it how people usually do things these days? They just break up without any reason or asking whether the other one is ready for that or not. It was years back, Jungkook, and I did what I thought was right. So stop it here. Don't drag our past and present. He smirked and nodded. Then I will also do what I think is right at this moment. Can I? Because then only it will be fair. You see, he said, coming closer to you. Did you even know what you're saying? I do. You like rich guys, right? See, I've become what you want me to. Now I can have you, right? This is how you deal with rich men. You slapped him hardly on his cheek and looked at him with teary yet angry eyes. If this is what you wanted to do after becoming successful, then go and somewhere else. Where were you? Only let's go home. She looked at you confused. 
what happened why and why suddenly you want to go home please sun me mommy you back see dada is here he shouted as soon as he saw you while sitting on the lap of chimin you looked at chimin surprised while he smiled you were to come tomorrow I know but I was missing Jungsoo so I finished all the work and straight took flight to Incheon. Well at least you will now spend some time with us. Yes. Now that we all are here our trip is going to be more fun. Yes I still have to pack stuff so I am going to my room. See how Jungsoo brightened up after you came. Jimin smiled and lightly pinched his cheek. Everything was lifeless there without him. Thank God you came, Dada. Or I thought I won't be able to buy all those video games that I want. Don't worry, now we'll buy everything you want, okay? And we'll also prepare ourselves for mommy's scolding. Yes, and they both laughed. You okay? You flinched and looked back only to see Jimin coming inside. Yes. Jungsoo is really enjoying here with everyone. Hmm. You were packing your stuff and just hummed without looking at him. He sat on the bed and sighed. You really okay? You were excited to come here, but now I don't think you are happy. You stopped in middle and looked at him. I'm good and thanks for coming early. I want to go home. Mind sharing what happened? I have nothing to say but thanks for asking. It's been 5 years since I know you and in this span of time I think I know exactly how you feel at times. I know you do but there were still so many emotions which can't be seen just by looking at someone's face. He sighed and nodded while picking a hourglass. Maybe it is possible some things can't be healed by time even if you try to. For example, a heartbreak. No matter how happy you live but somewhere deep down inside you. Do you still want to go back to Jungkook? This made you looked him surprised. You know why and it would be fair if you left him for real or maybe cheated on him but that's not true right and according to me he should know that why you did that he should know the truth Do you think I have any right to do that even if I was in his place I might have hated him so much He came near you and smiled warmly Not every person thinks same way and let him know the truth and leave it to him whether he still loves you or already moved on you have all the rights to start a new life and to be happy whether it's with him or anyone else you look down as your eyes were full of tears and everything seems blurry i don't have confidence to stand against him jimin smiled and rubbed your back you can do it vian i believe you You let your tears fall and nodded. You took a deep breath as you saw Jungkook coming. You called him and asked him to meet here. He finally reached you. I have never thought I would come to this place ever. It's kind of horrifies me. You gathered yourself and let out a loud breath. Thanks for coming. He looked at you. I can come wherever you want me and I've always do. You were nervous even looking at him. Yes, thanks for that too. Why so formal? Why things got awkward between us? That's it, another heartache. Why he's so soft towards you even after all he never hated you because his love was true and sincere. Jungsoo, I'm sorry for not telling you about him. Why and I don't want you to prove yourself to me because I know it wasn't you. I still trust you like before. Just tell me that it was your dad. You broke down in front of him. Why why you are like this? You should hate me. I don't deserve you. 
I don't deserve your forgiveness either. Not only in this life, but I want to be yours in every life. Do you know why I love you so much? Because there is no one like you. You took all the hate on yourself. I already know everything, Ryan. I'm the one who is lucky to have you and I've always be. I don't hate you, Ryan. In fact, I fall for you more after knowing how much you have suffered because of me to protect me. I didn't told you about Jungsoo because I didn't wanted anyone to know that I was pregnant because if dad got to know maybe Jungsoo won't be here in this world. I just wanted to protect and save our child. You said crying terribly while Jungkook stood up and pulled you in his embrace. Shh, I know, I know everything. You don't deserve what you went through, but now please let me with you. I can't live without you anymore. Let's complete our family, Yen. Jungsoo already know about his real dad. It's just I've never tell him that who is he. Ouch, that hurts, but now he will know. Ryan, will you marry me? You again cried while he hugged you tightly. Why are you so nice? Because I want to become a perfect husband material so that I can be all perfect for my dear wife. You're already perfect. I know but I like to keep on updating myself. It made you chuckle. Buddy, you? As soon as he looked at Jungkook, he came running towards him. Dada, he's the buddy I was talking about. Isn't he cool? Jimin looked at Jungkook and they would exchange smiles. Jungkook, your mom and sister were surprised to see him with you. Do you also live here in Busan? Buddy? And how did you find my mom? Jungkook smiled and picked him up in his arms. You left without saying goodbye to me, so I couldn't control myself but to come here. Thanks, buddy. You're so sweet. Jungsoo, aren't you going uh, to ask your buddy to sit? Jungsoo bit his tongue. Sorry, sorry, I forgot. Come, buddy, sit here. Jenny bought juice for everyone as you all were sitting on the car. Jungkook looked at Jimin and spoke. Thank you so much, Jimin. I would never forget your favor. I have done nothing, bro. You got what you deserve and I just want you to know the truth. You looked at Jimin confused, so does Jenny and your mom. What are you saying? Do you know him already? Jimin smiled at you warmly and nodded. Remember that rooftop restaurant I am talking about? You want to partner with? Yes, Jungkook is the owner of that restaurant and I met him there for the first time. You all looked at Jungkook surprised. Is that why you wanted to come Korea? Jimin nodded. So the train meeting? Jimin exhaled and nodded. I already knew you would be there because I came Korea along with you, even on the plane. Can anyone tell me what are you guys talking about? Jimin smiled and made him sit on his lap. He wrapped his arms around him and looked at him. Jungsua, what if someday you meet your real dad? What would you do? I would hug him tightly and will ask why didn't he stop mommy when she was Jungkook's heart melted, he looked at you with pity. You never showed him bad, even you told Jungsoo that it was you who left his dad. Jungsoo, do you want to go to your dad? He nodded. Yes, I want to see him and want to know what kind of person he is. Mom told me that he loves her so much and he would love me same if he was with us. Everyone got emotional and their eyes got moist. Jungsoo, I'm sorry baby, I'm sorry that I kept you away from your dad, but not anymore. 
See how your dad looks like cuz he's sitting right in front of you. Buddy, is he my dad? You nodded. Buddy, is that true? Is that why we have a lot in common and we also look almost same? Jungkook's eyes filled with tears. He extended his arm towards Jungsoo. Would you like to give a hug to your dad? The child was still processing everything. He looked at Jimin while he smiled and nodded. He ran to Jungkook and wrapped his arms around him. I didn't know that I have such a cool dad. A tear escaped from your eyes when Jungkook kissed his son's face. Let's celebrate this reunion together. I'm so happy. Thank you, Jimin. My pleasure, Miss Beautiful. I'm happy to put a smile on your face. But one question, what about Dada? Won't you live with us anymore? I'm going back tomorrow. I will come often to meet you. Aren't you guys moving to states? I would like to stay in Korea with my family. Why and can we get married now? You smiled and nodded. Wow, I'm going to be the first kid who will attend his parents' wedding. Everyone laughed.